ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology so today we have a very interesting presentation again it's on the future of the current u.s president joe biden so this is not a prediction on the upcoming elections in the usa uh, but this is just a video where we can uh, see about joe biden's uh, upcoming months and specifically his cognitive decline and these uh, predictions or this i would rather call this an analysis uh, is done through astrology and numerology both all right so i got many questions from you in regards to what will happen uh, with joe biden he will step down or what will happen so let's go and see what could happen all right and as usual if you are new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with some of your friends in the United States who is interested to know more about Joe Biden. All right, let's get into the presentation. So on 8th November 2022, I had made a post where I said that Joe Biden is having uh, the eclipse on his sixth house. So he's a Scorpio ascendant. So the eclipse was in Bharani Nakshatra, which is in Aries, which is the sixth house for him. And as you know, uh, after seeing his dashas and other transits, I I said that there will be serious cognitive decline. And uh, as you know, Bharani Nakshatra is the nakshatra of endings. You no, know? so his enemies will kind of uh, overpower him and we can uh, clearly see that uh, the ex-president uh, Donald J. Trump is currently leading in different polls. We'll discuss that in a minute. Uh, and if Biden continues, as I've written in this, I had written uh, that if he continues, there could be serious decline in the vote share of the Democrat Party uh, in the upcoming 2024 presidential elections. All right. So now sixth house is the house of enemies and uh, if the eclipse is there and the horoscope is not good then your enemies might gradually overpower you so you you might have observed that uh, since the end of 2022 or you could say uh, from the beginning of 2023 uh, his problems have kind of started increasing we'll see uh, that in a minute and uh, his cognitive decline has also accelerated okay now if you see uh, his Stithi Pravesh which is the chart that gets activated on your birthday so from uh, 20th November 2022 to 19th November 2023 so essentially the entire 2023 this was indicating that uh, the external situation that he is facing will be out of his control which means he will try his best to uh, settle things and make peace but uh, all his efforts will go in vain all right so and we know on 7th of october 2023 uh, hamas had attacked israel and then israel retaliated and you know then this to and fro this uh, conflict is going on of course this conflict is very old and there has been attacks from both the sides but this uh, 7th october this conflict uh, this attack from hamas has accelerated this conflict and there's been many deaths on both the sides okay so now you may be thinking oh well but this has nothing to do with usa well certainly not it has a lot because uh, usa as you know israel is a very important ally of the us and uh, it also depends on what us is doing you know how you us as a uh, global superpower or at least as a projected or a declining superpower how it is are trying to bring the situation under control and uh, the us has completely failed in uh, getting any consensus in this uh, hamas you know palestine israel war this conflict as you know it's still going on and israel and usa is kind of caught in between you know sometimes it says uh, things which are pro israel sometimes it says with things which are pro palestine so this is an example of a situation where externals are not under your control and even if you try things don't work out so this this was indicated on his uh, birth chart of 2022 okay now what does 2023 indicate so he's currently in this year because uh, his birthday has not yet come in 2024 
so uh, last year november 20th to uh, 19 november of this year what does this uh, current tithi pravesh chart show well it clearly shows he is having serious cognitive decline and there are multiple gaps which he has uh, had you know during this period now you can go and check online like uh, 2024 you know or even before i mean not just 2024 but from november last year uh, it is indicated that his cognitive decline has accelerated and recently like he has you know uh, when this is a photo of the nato summit i guess in us recently i think 2 3 days back it was held and he said uh, about president zelensky he said you know welcome president putin like that and you know he he has said something about kamala harris also like uh, she uh he said yeah donald trump is the vice president or something like that so these are just some examples but you can clearly see using astrology we can identify you know when somebody can have a cognitive decline and this will only get worse and this may not improve okay but now we go to specific periods because this is a very long period now if you go to the current period within this uh, bad period which he uh, kind of started from his last birthday 20th november 2023 specifically the period from 24th june to 27th august this year is extremely difficult for him uh, this is a period which is indicating there could be defamation uh and uh, he could have bad reputation and you know people doubting his ability to do the job which is uh quite what has happened after the debate so as you know uh Donald Trump and uh, Biden had a debate in you know CNN on 27 June so exactly within uh 3 days of his bad period and uh as the analysts say uh, that biden's performance was not up to the mark and he was not able to answer questions clearly and uh, yeah it, it was uh, it was not up to the expectation of his voters and his uh, party colleagues also in the democrat party so so there are calls of def- i mean there are there are calls for him to step down and people are really doubting if he will be able to continue till november december and what to speak of the next 4 years okay so yeah but what is interesting is that there is a pressure for him to step down till 27 august this year uh, but if imagine i would be there with him and he would ask me about suppose hypothetically or any other astrologer then uh, i uh, would have told him that uh, it is recommended that you uh, step down gracefully now and i think in usa there is something called as uh, the 25th amendment where the vice president can you know uh, start uh, proceedings and the vice president can take over it's a long thing uh, i i won't go much into detail and if you you can correct me if i'm wrong uh, with the how with the house of representatives and the senate it's a very famous amendment the 25th amendment so using that uh yeah the vice president can become the pr- president you know maybe temporarily or something like that so i would recommend him to step down gracefully as uh, he still has around how many like you know maybe 40 45 days for till this period uh, because the calls for him to step down will only accelerate and uh, there are many donors also who said you know we will freeze the uh, donations which they have been giving to the democrat party uh until biden steps down and recently one hollywood uh, superstar george clooney i guess he also came and said you know like biden should step down and also uh if you see you know uh, tv channels like cnn fox news uh, uh cnn in general is very pro democrat pro left and fox news is pro right and pro republican but now both the pa- both the channels are you know like kind of hell bent on uh, forcing him to you know resign and <laughs> get get him out of the race basically because there has been recent polls where it has uh, shown that if there is election today then Biden might lose big time uh, with Donald Trump 
So I would say it is in best of his interests, considering his uh, great legacy of you know such long political career and also as uh, the current president and ex vice president of USA. Uh, it is uh, it, it is best for him to step down uh, astrologically uh, but suppose he does not step down till 27 august which may be possible because uh, there are the like recently many people have asked him will you step down and he said no i'm not stepping down trust me i can do the job so he's kind of um, yeah he's kind of uh, hell bent on staying in his position which uh, a, a, any normal politician would do right no no politician would just say okay i'll give up my position i mean nobody would do that not not any uh, politician in india or us or anywhere so why would he do that unless situations are so situation is very 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 tough okay so suppose he does not step down till 27th august then what can happen so this was the scenario one then we go to scenario two so scenario two is uh, from 27th august to 15th november this year suppose he does not step down then what happens then between this period so essentially september october and like uh, mid of november so during this period there could be legal proceedings and this is another extremely difficult period for him and uh, now legal proceedings uh, there could be different things you know there is some case about his son you know hunter biden i mean th th there's a lot of uh, craziness going on in american politics so i cannot exactly predict what kind of legal proceedings will come uh, against him but uh, it could also happen that legal proceedings come not against him personally but uh, there could be some uh, move to remove him from the office you know in as i said through the 25th amendment and this could be done through the vice president or you know like the house and senate everybody together so so it's like that is also like a legal proceeding where you are being forced to uh, give up your uh, post and position so i would say if as i said if i was there with him i would have said don't wait till this period because if you wait then yeah things will not happen in the way you want and you may be forced and that might cause extreme humiliation not only for you also for your party so from my side i would have suggested that please step down before 27th or at the earliest the earlier the better all right but as i said from his words i am sure he will not step down now or maybe i don't know when because he will fight with his party and uh, he will try his best but the problem is the more he is giving interviews the more his uh, cognitive decline is becoming evident and more the calls are going for him to resign and therefore during this period uh, he uh, even if he survives so let's assume that he survives but it will be very difficult you know people will be totally against him and he will be forced like step down step down everybody will say so you know one day he might step down out of becoming you know fed up or hypothetically it is also possible he may continue but yeah but he will have a very 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 tough time um, everybody will be against him if he continues uh, including donors and you know um, other senior members in the democrat party and not to forget uh, donald trump and the republican party will be mocking and shaming him you know day and night that they will do so i would suggest him not to get to this and leave before gracefully that's the best thing for him but now suppose he passes on this period also and his birthday comes next year so his birthday is after five days as you know, you know like 20th november is his birthday so then if he survives then his tithi pravesh of this year to next year november uh, which is entire 2025 kind of this indicates there could be further defamation or there could be uh, new conflicts you know some kind of new war or something uh, i mean not like uh, war in the sense you know uh, or the existing war like russia ukraine or the israel conflict could accelerate or you know there could be some new conflict or there could be conflicts within his party even if he wins the election you know uh, and then he might be forced to resign or you know even if he wins he will not be able to maintain things properly 
So next year also is looking to be extremely difficult for him, irrespective of the fact that he wins the election or not. Now, so does it mean he will lose the election? Well, that is something which I cannot say now because it will exactly depend on uh, which day the election is. Uh, and also, you know, as we have seen in the last 2020 election uh, in US, what has happened? Like um, most of the Republicans, they are saying, you know, oh, this election was fraud and also now uh, it is extremely difficult to make a prediction on what will happen. And now the Republicans are bringing some new bill to uh, you know, prevent all the non uh, non citizens of America to uh, from voting, you know, so it, it's a very complicated situation. But uh, for this, we also need to analyze uh, President Donald Trump's horoscope, his date of birth. And also now uh, the Republicans have not uh, declared their vice president. So we don't know who the VP will be. You know, it can be anybody. I mean, uh, so the, it will also depend on what kind of time he or she is running. And most importantly, it will also depend on what is the position of Kamala Harris, the current vice president of US, because uh, if through the 25th amendment she becomes the president then we have to then her chart is the only chart that will matter and not biden's anymore so um, yeah so therefore uh, as i think there's this new con democrat convention where they will decide you know it is there in the upcoming weeks or months i'm not exactly sure of the dates so there it will be more clear and in the upcoming months if Joe Biden survives till then, uh, he, then we have to see, you know, but, but even if he survives and he wins, it will be an extremely difficult period for him and there could be new conflicts. Okay. So in short, uh, depending, uh, depending on the situation, if he uh, wins also the election, then it is extremely difficult for him to continue. And uh, in my opinion, uh, he should leave the race. This is high time. I mean, he has had an incredibly successful career. I mean, uh, maybe one of the longest careers. And uh, I think it is high time for him to step down. But again, this is just my opinion. And uh, God will decide what will happen, right? So I'm interested to know what do you think will happen? Uh, not, not in terms of the election results, but um what do you think will joe biden stay or will he uh, step down or should he step down or maybe the media is too tough on him or maybe his uh, his situation is even worse and the media is trying to hide so what do you think please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't uh, forget to visit my website if you want a personalized horoscope consultation from me all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him take care